That is a loud washing machine. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Um, this is like, I don't know when this is going up. My, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, I just finished season one of Dr. Stone and I wanted to do a review. So this will contain spoilers for the anime, but I don't care. So if you, but if you care, you don't want to hear spoilers, then go ahead and just pause the video, go watch it, and come back. That is annoying. Anyways, Dr. Stone is basically about one day just during whatever, a light is emitted somewhere in the world that petrifies everyone on Earth, that turns them into a stone statue. There, and for 3,700 years, no one has emerged. No one is able to revive themselves or escape their petrification. There were some six, five, six astronauts that were in space that survived the petrification that went back to Earth and started to populate an island and just live there and create a village where the main character's father left him, left Senku, the main character, a bunch of clues and notes to help save the world because he knew that Senku would be the savior. And he does, he, he revives his friends, he makes allies and whatnot to try and undo all the petrification. Um, the movie, the show itself is pretty entertaining. Uh, I'm not that big of a science person, but this show has probably renewed my interest in the science. I'm not going to like pursue it or anything. I already have my goals. I have my dreams. I have my um, classes I'm taking already. So I'm not going to go delve back into science just because I'm an anime. I was thinking about it, but I said not to. Um, yeah, so what is that? Okay. It's like science fiction, obviously. Um, it is a mystery. It's a show about mystery, science, teamwork. Um, it, yeah, it goes deep into teamwork. It, it's a science anime. Basically, they're 37 years, 3,700 years later, it's like they're back in the Stone Age. So they have to use the knowledge, Senku's knowledge, since he's like the super genius, to remake and rebuild civilization. And I like... I mostly like action shows, action animes, fights, whatever, but I do like like life animes where like they try to obviously try to rebuild something or they try to get past an obstacle and that's just fun to me. So I really enjoy the anime. Um, I don't know if you guys will, if you guys like action and mystery and science fiction sci-fi then it's a good show to watch um i would recommend it out of like out of 10 i'd give it 9 out of 10 because it's just it's lacking a couple things like it is it does progress fairly slow specifically in the first season I'm, i've only watched the first season but the first thing progresses fairly slow which I do like because like it explores everything, all the character development and stuff. There's a lot of character development too, so, but he just progresses a little too slow. Like it's the first season is 24 episodes, the other season like 10 or 11. Um, but yeah, you have 24 episodes. Just exp most of them are just. Exp like I was saying, the first 24 episodes is literally just exploring character development, and. I did pause the video and watch. I'm finishing this like a couple hours later. Um, but season two, I'm not gonna get into that right now. But basically, that's where all the most of the action starts. Season one's literally just character development, which I do like, but it's just too much of it. Um, but yeah, I don't want to drag this on anymore. I've already split it into two recordings. So basically, Doctor Stone is about. The world go to everyone in the world turning into stone for 3,700 years until a genius boy named Senku is revived and given the chance to revive the rest of the world thanks to his father and five other people who happened to be in space at the time of the petrification and returned to Earth to try and restore everything. They weren't. They were able to start a mini clan or village or whatever 
into the future, but that's about it. Senku makes friends and allies, meets other people who want to join the science team, and they have to fight against Sukasa, a big v the villain who just doesn't want to taint the world with the modern weapons, the weapons of science, because he doesn't want war and everything that caused the downfall of the original world. Um, it's a really good anime. I recommend it. I'll give it like a 9 out of 10. If it didn't move so slow in the first season, it'd probably be a 10 out of 10. It's a perfect anime, basically. But it just moves a little slow. Um, yeah. That's all I have to say. I have to find a way to edit this together because both my computer and laptop are working. So, see you guys next time. Peace.